If you want to implement QR code scanning in your Android app, it's better to choose an enterprise-grade SDK for a quick integration and its excellent decoding performance. Dynam Soft Barcode Reader SDK is known for its speed, versatility, reliability, accuracy, and customizability. This guide will walk you through the process of setting up a simple QR code scanner in Android Studio using Dynamsoft Barcode Reader SDK. Before coding, please check the requirements to make sure your device is compatible with our SDK. Let's open the Android Studio and create a new project. Choose Empty Activity and click Next. Give it a name and select the correct configuration options for your app. Click Finish and go to the new project. Next, I will add Dynamsoft Barcode Reader SDK into the project via Maven. Open settings.griddle and add the Maven repository like so. If you're using a Griddle version before 7.0, you should add it into the build.griddle file. Then, we can add references in the dependencies in build.griddle. You can also add the library manually by downloading the whole package and copy the two AAR files to your project. Click Sync. After the synchronization completes, the SDK is now added to the project successfully. Let's go to mainactivity.java and import DVR license verification listener to initialize the license. It is an interface that handles callback when using init license. Dynamsoft Barcode Reader is an enterprise-grade commercial SDK, so you need a license to use it. Go to dynamsoft.com and request a 30-day free trial license from the customer portal and replace the license number here. Next, we add the camera module. Go to activity underscore main.xml and change the constraint layout into relative layout. In the relative layout, I will create a DCE camera view section and set the relevant properties. Go back to mainactivity.java and import the Dynamsoft camera modules, which include DCE camera view, camera enhancer, and camera enhancer exception. Then, initialize the camera view in the main activity class. After that, we need to bind it to the camera enhancer instance that was created. With the camera module, we can control whether the camera view displays colored or translucent overlays. It also provides APIs for camera control, camera preview, and other advanced features. Here I call the Set Overlay Visible API and set the value to true to show the default overlay. The camera module has been added successfully. Now it's time to initialize the barcode reader module. Import barcode reader exception for any error handling. Initialize it and bind it to camera enhancer instance that was created. To get the recognized barcode results, I will create a barcode result listener and register it with the barcode reader instance. Text result listener is the interface to handle callbacks when the barcode results are returned. Here I use the show result function to display the decoded barcode text. I will finish it later. Next, overwrite the on resume and on pause functions to start and stop video barcode scanning. 
After scanning starts, the barcode reader will automatically invoke the decode buffer API to process the video frames from the camera enhancer. Then send the decoded barcode results to the text result callback. Go ahead and switch to activity underscore main dot XML to create a text view section to display the barcode results. Back to main activity dot Java, import and initialize the text view widget. Add it to display the barcode results in the show result function we wrote before. With this function, we can get real-time barcode scanner results on the screen. Congratulations! You just built an Android Barco Scanner app. Let's run the project and try to scan a QR code. As you can see, the decoded result is shown on the screen. If you're looking to get the most out of your Dynamsoft Barco Reader SDK for your Android application, our online documentation is the perfect place to start rating. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this. Check out other cool videos in the series to learn how to build a barcode reader in other programming languages. Thank you for watching.